In Windows, by default, when the user deletes a file, folder, or group of files and folders, it goes to the recycle bin. Let us check inside the recycle bin properties for the settings a user can select. Custom size can be set on how many megabytes the recycle bin can contain. Another option is to remove the files immediately when deleted. It will not go anymore to the recycle bin. But, it is not recommended because the user will not be able to recover the files when needed. Observe when this box is not ticked. Let's try to delete this folder and look what will happen. It goes to the recycle bin, but confirmation dialog box did not appear. Because as you can see, the box is not ticked. We will now tick it and look what will happen next. Now, the confirmation dialog box appears and asks the user's confirmation to proceed or not in deleting the folder. Let us make another folder, and show how to delete it immediately without going to the recycle bin. In the recycle bin properties, choose don't move files in the recycle bin. Remove files immediately when deleted. Here, the recent deleted folder is not shown. So you cannot restore it. Therefore, remember to check the settings of your recycle bin properly. If you did not select the option don't move files in the recycle bin, you can restore the deleted files to their previous location. For example, we will delete these two items. To restore it back to desktop, go to Recycle Bin, select the item, right click, then choose Restore. Now, the items are restored to their original location. What will happen if you delete a file more than the maximum size a recycle bin can handle? Will it go to the recycle bin or not? Please comment below.